Hi everybody, over the next bunch of minutes, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to create an amazing looking functional body with safe and sensible movements, suitable for the whole family, particularly if you're over the age of 40 and you wanna get into the same shape you were in when you were in your 20s. Let's recreate a beautiful body together, just like these viewers. Before we begin, I just wanna share with you guys that 54% of you watching frequent content on this channel do not subscribe. If you've ever enjoyed my videos or felt that they've helped you, could you please do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button? It helps me more than you know, and the bigger this channel gets, the more time I can put into helping you get that amazing new body. Now today I'm using 50 pound dumbbells for my heavies, 35 pounds for my mediums, and 20 pounds for my light dumbbells. This doesn't mean that you should try to lift the same as me. Please choose your weights carefully based on your strength and fitness level, as well as your experience working with dumbbells. Now, that's enough talking from me. Let's get started with today's workout. This exercise is a Romanian deadlift into a calves raise. A fantastic posterior combination because we're pretty much working the entire posterior of your legs all the way to your lower back. Try and keep your back flat as you drop down into those Romanian deadlifts. Turn your dumbbells and push them in front of your shin and then elevate up by squeezing your glutes and working your way all the way up to a calves raise. This exercise is a skull crusher and chest fly combination. Start lying on the bench or lying on the floor, making sure that your lower back is remaining flat. As always, if you find your back is arching up, then elevate your feet. When you hit your skull crushers, make sure there's no positional movement in your elbows and make sure that your arms are remaining parallel at shoulder width. When you go into the chest fly, open up by rotating out at your shoulders. Keep your elbows soft straight.
These are sumo prancers, and you can see I'm starting the exercise in a low sumo squat position. My toes are pointing out 45 degrees. My thighs are almost horizontal. If you can get it close to horizontal, then that's ideal. And there's no bobbing up and down as far as my motion is concerned. So if you look at my head, it's remaining static throughout the whole set. If you can do this exercise facing a mirror, that's ideal because you can watch yourself and make sure that you maintain the same height. This exercise is a fantastic shoulders mobility exercise and it's a halo with a horizontal press combination. I'm doing this one standing. Now the trick is to make sure that the halo goes all the way around your head. And so this requires great range of motion in your shoulders. Then you press forward and you're working on the anterior of your shoulders but you're also working on your core simultaneously. Make sure your knees remain soft and make sure your hips remain steady in position.
This exercise is a goblet thruster and it's one of the more compound exercises you can do. I'm starting with a basic goblet squat, making sure my feet are parallel at shoulder width, dropping nice and low until my elbows touch my thighs. And then when I lift up, I'm going to carry that dumbbell all the way through to a neutral grip shoulder press. Lots of movement, multiple joints at play and engaging a whole lot of muscles throughout. This exercise is a triceps tape press and a crucifix fly. So when you're doing the tape press, the dumbbell head is dropping to the center of your chest with the dumbbells touching and your elbows nice and wide. Then lift up directly and open up into your crucifix fly. Your elbows should be soft on your crucifix fly. Do not lock them open because you're going to aggravate your elbows that way. And also make sure that you don't drop past a horizontal line.
This exercise is a rotating press and it's fantastic for your triceps, for your shoulders and for your chest as well. So you can see there's a complete 180 degree rotation as I do the presses. When you're in the low position, your elbows are tucked in by your ribs and when you're in the higher position, your arms are extended and your dumbbells are together. Inhale as you drop the dumbbell down and exhale as you push it back up. This exercise combines biceps curls and pronated horizontal presses. It's a tricky exercise, so you can't go too heavy with this one. Start with your neutral hands. Make sure you get a 90 degree twist at the top of the biceps curl. And then we're going to twist 180 degrees in the opposite direction as you extend forward. That forward extension is not just working your shoulders. It's also working your core because you've got to try and keep your hips still and not activate your lower back throughout. This exercise is a right leg split squat. So you can see I've gone into a relatively lengthy stance. My weight is on my front leg. 
and I'm on the ball of the back foot. I want to try and drop straight down the middle with my upper body nice and vertical. I also want to make sure that my knee doesn't push past my toes. So the more static you can keep that front shin bone, the better. Maintain your posture and keep looking in front of you. This is a left leg split squat. Same as your right side, make sure you start off with a lengthy lunge stance. Make sure your weight's on your front leg. Now, as you drop down, get your back knee towards the floor, only an inch off, and then come up until your back leg is extended. So this is not about extending your front leg, it's about extending your back leg. We're working on your quads on the front leg and we're working on your glutes on the back leg.
This is an obliques tilt and a biceps curl combination. Start with your feet past your shoulders and making sure your knees are straight for this one. Your toes are pointing forward and your hips are remaining nice and still. So there is no bobbing back and forth with your hips. Tilt to the side only and really look for that flexion in your obliques. And we're alternating those with some biceps curls in between them. And they're starting neutral at the bottom and the 90 degree twist at the top without adjusting your elbow position. This exercise is a twist and press from a standing position. You can see I'm keeping both the dumbbells together and that my elbows are tucked in the entire time. When you twist to the side, make sure you extend your arms and look at the direction that you're taking the dumbbells. Keep your knees soft and keep your hips nice and still. We don't want your hips bobbing back and forth at all. To stabilize, I'm keeping my feet wider than shoulder width and it's a great solid base for this exercise.
This exercise is a weighted cross body crunch. You can see the dumbbells start on my chest and as I crunch up, I'm using my arms to reach my opposite knee. Make sure your lower back is flat the whole time. Make sure your feet are grounded with your knees bent the way I have mine. And as you come up to each crunch, tuck your chin in and look at your knees and that's gonna help save your neck. Remember this type of crunch is a rolling action and not a hinge. This exercise is a dumbbell Russian twist from a seated position and you can see I'm adding some high presses into that as well. Now when you're in your seated position make sure your chest proud, make sure your knees are bent and make sure you're not putting too much weight on your tailbone. So it's best to sit on your butt cheeks rather than sitting on your tailbone. To maximize the twist make sure your head moves with your body. So the best place to look when you're doing your Russian twist is in fact looking at your dumbbell.
This is the traditional row T row combination from that bent over position. But you can see we're not moving back up into a standing position at all. We're doing the entire set hinging forward, making sure you're engaging your erectors by pushing your tailbone out and lengthening your hamstrings while contracting your erectors. Your traditional row is with neutral hands and your elbows are tight by your ribs. Your T row is wide with your elbows flaring out. This is an obliques tilt and hammer biceps curl combination. Start with your legs wide, so your feet should be at shoulder width or marginally wider. Your toes are pointing forward, your knees are soft, and your hips are stationary. Tilt to one side, try and go past your knee if you can. Go into the hammer curls without moving your elbows. The upper part of your arm should remain stationary throughout. You can see there's no twisting of the wrist whatsoever, so my hands are remaining neutral the whole time.
During this exercise, I am alternating between close grip chest presses and weighted abs crunches. So you can see I'm going from one to the other. Now it's very important to have your lower back pinned against your bench or against the floor if you're not using a bench today. You can see I've got my feet lifted off the ground and it's sitting on my bench and this is going to further amplify the protection in my back to make sure it doesn't arch up. Good extension on the presses, then drop the dumbbell to your chest and go into your crunch. For this exercise, let's go up into a high glutes bridge and we'll work our prances from there. So ultimately, it's one calves raise at a time while maintaining your high glutes bridge. Now, this is weighted with a heavy dumbbell. So you'll get that really good contraction in your erectors, in your lower back, in your glutes and your hamstrings while you're working those alternate calves raises. Well done everybody for getting through today's dumbbell flow workout. 
Now's a great time to stretch and cool down with our physio Daphne. Her stretching playlist is linked to the end of this video, so be sure to check it out. Alternatively, now's a great opportunity to accelerate body fat loss by doing around 20 minutes of mild cardio, such as a brisk walk. Do it right now while your body is low in glucose energy to optimize fat loss results. I wanna thank you guys for training with me and I look forward to seeing you very soon for another result-driven and effective workout right here. Look after yourselves and each other.